Baghdad, 2003, under Delta Force Commander General Stanley McChrystal, JSOC, the Joint Spec Ops Command, begins to emphasize the use of shared intelligence derived from all sources, from cell phone tracking to predator drones, to accelerate the hunt for jihadists and insurgents. Delta was able to bring to bear the full force of the United States intelligence and military arsenal. JSOC had an unquenchable thirst for eyes in the sky, in particular for uh, unmanned aerial vehicles like the Predator to track a target non-stop in a process that they came to describe as the unblinking eye. They had constant uh, UAV surveillance and hours, you know, hundreds of hours of, of video footage that they could trace back almost like a DVR. And you could see car bombs and trace back to see where they originated. So you've got Air Force drones flying overhead. You've got National Reconnaissance Office satellites zooming in. You've got Delta operatives on the ground doing the targeting. To defeat the emerging network of Al Qaeda and its allies, General McChrystal and Delta Force create a network of their own, cooperating on intel in an unprecedented way with other services and America's allies on the ground. Those task forces used all sources of intelligence to drive missions with increasing rapidity. You're talking five or six missions at night, and this is nonstop. Now we have the ability to literally do forensics right on the site, you know, real time, to drive us to the next target if need be. Delta's special ops forces seize individuals, cell phones, and documents and use the intel to drive further missions the same night. What you have now is you have the soft forces who could move lightning fast with the assets. You had the conventional forces that could cordon off an area. You've got this interagency fight now, this coalition fight coming together, everyone taking the same intelligence, coming to bear at one single point. Boom. You can move faster than that network. You can stop it. You can block it. That was your network that, that really broke the back inside Iraq.